<laughs> okay, this is Randy starting off a play group. <laughs> She's brought all the accoutrements in her little basket. Now there's going to be a handler, an assistant handler, and somebody writing notes or Right, so we have a lead, a second, a lead and a second handler, and then we call it a scribe. So that's the person who helps us take notes. But I might not have a second handler today. I might just run the group on my own, which is fine. Um, and then uh, usually I have a poop scooper too. But the scribe and the poop scooper can be one job if somebody's skilled. So. Okay. Yeah, Diane. You should be grabbing the basket for setup. And then there's simple instructions here on the proper way to set up the play yard. Um, so uh, that's inside this basket. This is in the women's bathroom. So you grab it, you bring it out, and you start setting up the yard so that when we come out, we can just get started. Um, so the best way to set up the yard is um, to throw your clipboards there. And then you can put your aprons out for your handlers. And then we need one air horn and one super um, shaker on each end of the yard. So that if there's some, a problem over there, we can grab them, and if there's a problem over here, we have access okay. to them. So these clip to the, the uh, fence, and then the other ones we set up uh, in the gazebo, and then if you want to set up another one in the middle, you can too, because there's enough. Keeping track of who's coming in and out of the yards and at what times for adoption. So, um, for adoption, just adoption. Yeah. Are you going to be my lead runner again today? Yeah. Okay, run it out, and then you can help her keep track of what time that dog comes into the yard, and then again when it moves. Okay, so, and then it happens. So that I can document the adoption dogs on the board afterwards, um, so the walkers know today. And then um, I already kind of described the lead handler jobs to you. Um, he's your lead runner, which means that she's going to make sure that when I call out for three or four dogs, those three or four dogs somebody is getting. Um, including herself, she can go get dogs. Um, and then when I ask for dogs to go back in, that she's helping me get those dogs out of the yard, making sure they're still waiting for us to get them out. Um, and then we have the poop scooper, who, um, if you're a poop scooper in the yard, you also have to be prepared for the fact that I might ask for your help handling dogs. So this is a little more responsibility because if there is an issue or a fight between two dogs and I have six dogs in the yard, the poop scooper is going to need to help get those extra dogs out so that I can deal with the fight. Um, which we haven't had. We had one the first day. It was like the experience. So, um, now we know. Uh, we don't need to learn anymore. Um, <laughs> and then there's also going to be a second handler. A, a scribe usually, which takes notes. This is a great job if you want to be a lead handler. You start to learn the lingo, you start to learn the dogs, you start to figure out why we're, because the lead handler has a lot of conversation with you about, oh, what do you think this dog is? This dog does really well with this, or look how she's taking corrections, or takes lots of notes. And then usually there's a second handler and um, a lead handler, which right now is only staff and K, but we're training hopefully to get more volunteers and um, so I'm going to call for some dogs. Oh, and while you guys are here, so um, make sure when you get a dog out that you're closing the gate behind you, and then if you're putting them back, you're putting the pin in, because um, we don't want to move too fast that we're not thinking about the safety in the kennels, because um, we did have a few dogs escape a couple days ago. Thank God they were a playgroup <laughs> together, and they all knew each other. Um, so, and then also... Um, Training on the way out is not really necessary. We just want to get the dogs out to play group as quickly as we can. Um, but if you want to work with them on the way back or sit and cuddle with them in their kennel while you put them back, that's awesome, great. Um, and then we ask that you don't sit on the fence line. I'm going to bring out some shy dogs today, and they like to do this against the fence. And they try to solicit attention, but we really want them to engage with the other dogs, so we try to keep people off of them as much as possible. Can I get Buster, who's in adoption? Can I get, oh, and all the leashes are um, down there in adoption. I stocked lower holding oh, with okay. a ton of leashes on the wall. Okay. Um, so I need Bandit and Kiva, who's in lower holding. She has a name on her kennel, Kiva. And then I would also like Hank. He's in lower holding, Black Lab, really. Here's, I'm listening. Here comes a dog that's coming in, and Sheba's getting playful. 
and the play group has not even started. So they leave the leash on one that's coming in sometimes and <clears throat> try to keep the other dog. Well, that's rough and ready, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> now these two are doing the playing. This is Kiva and Sheba. Sheba was shut down a couple weeks ago. Sheba is much more relaxed with dogs. Another dog in. Here comes Buster. Buster the black dog, Kiva's the little one, and Sheba is the husky shepherd mix, and <laughs> they just circled the wagons. <clears throat> Randy's going to take the leashes off. Here we're going to bring in another dog to add to the mix. This is Suede coming in. And they're going to leave the leash on Suede for a little while as well. <clears throat> She's letting them greet through the fence for a little bit and then she'll... Another dog coming into the gate. This is Scarlet, the Sharpe lab mix.
see Scarlett has this play style of they're chasing me, I'm going to run and roll. <laughs> Show them I'm not an intimidating dog. Okay, some of the dogs that have been getting a little bit of a time out are going to come in with the, these to change the energy. She sprays. <clears throat> oh. and she's going to leave the gate open so they have a choice of going in and out of uh, the other area. <clears throat> Breezy, not breezy, bandit. Come here, guys. Help me, sweet. She's calling the other dogs to come over. <clears throat> and they want to do the fence thing. can turn into that. Pray, you're an agility so dog. <coughs> but so you put her out with anybody who has already displayed a free drive. Like, Shiva probably would have done something similar to her. She's trying to get him to chase when they go, hmm, and then they back up. Hmm. Yeah. There, she's saying, play with me. Play with me. They're all, they're all asking Hank. Hey, maybe, yeah. maybe he'll do it this time. Like Fiona was, where she was so intense and just. <coughs> Yep, and they just have no other focus but to get on that dog. They don't necessarily curl their lip, though, do they? No, no, it's not necessarily like a snarl or oh, an no. aggressive it's thing. It's just an like attitude. A, it's kind of like a creature. <laughs> it looks like... So here are the descriptors. Yeah, so Seek and Destroy is not mutual play. The other dog that they're chasing is not enjoying it. So Scarlet's doing a little Seek and Destroy... is nipping at them, but the other dogs don't think it's fun. <laughs> yeah, see how she's not letting up? She gets fixated on one dog. Right now it happens to be swayed, but before it was pumpkin. I'm hoping to see. I'm hoping someone gets out of the tree. But pumpkin might be doing But sway gave her a good practice. 
This girl is being a pushy. <clears throat> I got that. Right, right, look, <laughs> No, 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 I got with the dog oh, over right, top of the other. <laughs> you and she's going out. <clears throat> That's how we do it. So he's out there on leash and then they walk him back. Or take him on the outside of the fence.